morning, Danny. It's June 19th. This year is your brother, the boy that we call Seeps. Danny, today I want to talk about why this infographic is one of the most poorly constructed infographics that I have ever seen on the internet. And the whole reason is that context is everything in this case. Like, none of these statistics actually matter until you take into the context in which they're proposed. Like, for example, let's go ahead and just take into account this first one. 97% of men die in combat, where only 3% of women die in combat. Now, this seems like a really terrible thing when you first look at it. You're like, whole Holy crap, there's only 14% of women in the military, which is just really low when you think about it. But here's the thing about that 14% of women that are actually in the military, not all of them are allowed to serve into a combat situation. There's a lot that they can't actually do for some reason. I don't know, the vagina prevents them, says the government. Well, not anymore. It used to say that, but now it doesn't. But under no circumstances should you not be allowed to serve in combat just because they think that you can't actually grab a man and pull him to safety. Yeah, of course, a lot of them are not going to die in combat because they aren't allowed to serve in combat. I'm actually surprised the number's as high as 3%. I wonder if that's taking into account recent changes where women are actually allowed to serve in combat now. And this other one about industrial deaths and accidents, same kind of thing applies where it is a disproportionate amount of men who actually work in those fields. There aren't as many women. For homicide victims, it's usually male-on-male -male violence, not male-on-woman or woman-on-male violence. For the suicide victims, my friend Doko actually made a really good point about this. And it's that the methods in which men take their own lives is actually more gruesome than the way that women take their own lives. Where a man will take a route like a gun or something like that. Where a woman will take a route that doesn't hurt, like pills. Now Danny, I don't know if you know this, but pills actually take a lot longer to work than a bullet from a gun. I know, I'm surprised as well. But that means that a lot more men are likely to kill themselves because of the method that they choose than women. Because they're more likely to succeed. Now this last one of the winner of custody is probably the one I had the most trouble with. Because it's not necessarily untrue. However, they're not looking at the joint custody cases, where both parents get custody of the child, which turned out to be the case for both you and me. And that turns out to be the case more often than not, where both parents have custody of the child. But I think this statistic brings up a pretty good point about how more women than men get custody of the child. And again, Doko told me that it wasn't until like the 1960s where we actually allowed a man to have custody of his own child, which is just mind-blowing to me. I think that's pretty insane to think that Back in the 1960s, like 50 years ago, we still thought that the mom was the most nurturing parent. That is a myth that I will dispel over and over and over again. Men are just as capable of being empathetic and nurturing as women. So I think why more women get custody of the child today rather than men is just because they prove that they are more nurturing, more caring, more involved in their child's life. That's not a bad thing. It's on the men to prove that they can do that. Just like how the women have to prove the same thing. But the whole point of all of this is that context is so important when you're talking about all this stuff. It's like if I tell you that 50,000 people in the US die every year from the flu. But 50,000 people is a substantial amount when you think about how big a town is. That would be most of the city of Federal Way. But when you look at it through the context of the entire country, the entire country of 330 million people, 50,000 annually is not as much as you think. Granted, it's still way more than it should be, so everyone go get a flu shot so you don't die from the flu because it happens. So I think it's important to remember that when you look at these infographics that have really nice pretty images and they're like, wow, I want, I want to read that because the circle. But the thing that you have to remember is that context is everything in these infographics. And on that note, Danny, I will see you tomorrow.